Okay. All right, recipe number four here. It's going to be a strawberry mango surprise. <laughs> I'm not using that name. Surprise. <laughs> surprise. Three, two, one, go. And there you are. Five nutritious proteins. There you are. And there you are. Come on. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Ben. I'm here with my lovely brother Luke. Hello. And uh, my lovely Blender. And today we are going to be making a video for five protein shakes in five minutes. So I recently had a conversation with my dad and his main complaint for the videos from my channel were that I speak way too fast. And I'm not somebody who's going to deny that. That being said, I'm definitely going to be somebody who tries to capitalize on that. So with that being said, what I'm going to be trying to do today is to produce a video that allows you to get an entire protein shake recipe done in under a minute. So with that, I am going to get right into all of our recipes for today. Alright, shake number one here is a Nutella protein shake. You're going to start off with a cup of skim milk or almond milk, whatever kind of milk you want will work for that. Then to that, also you're going to want to add four to six ice cubes. And then after that, you're going to want to add a tablespoon, half to a tablespoon, depends on how chocolatey you're looking for it, of baking cocoa. So it doesn't depend, doesn't really matter what kind of cocoa you use, all that matters is that you get the chocolate taste from that. Following that, to sweeten it because of the bitterness of the cocoa, you're gonna to wanna to add the equal amount of some sort of sweetener. In this case, we're gonna be using stevia. Now after that, for the hazelnut flavor that you find in Nutella, we have Tarani hazelnut sugar-free syrup. I know you can't find this in Canada. We lived there and we weren't able to get it. That being said, we found it in the States, so if you're American, this is an easy pickup at your local Winco if you have a chance to grab this. It was only about $6 a bottle. So what we're gonna use is a single cap full. Can you put that in, please? And then to finish it off, once that goes in there, you're going to want to add a scoop of some form of chocolate-based protein. Today we're just going to be using the My Protein Chocolate. You can also use chocolate nut that they have. Anything with that kind of flavor. Once you're done with that, you're going to blend it up and serve it. Once fully blended, you're simply going to open it up and pour it. Surprise, surprise. Shake number two here, this is the Snickers shake, very, very similar tasting to the popular chocolate bar. So you're going to start off with another cup of milk, similar to the last recipe. And once again to that, it's basically a similar base for all of these. You're going to add four to six ice cubes, depending on your taste. Next to that, you're going to want to add half a tablespoon of cocoa powder to the blender. Alongside that, you're going to want to add about a half a tablespoon of stevia just to balance out the bitterness of the cocoa. After that, you're going to want to add a serving of PB2. I like to use PB2 because you can keep your fat sounds, but you have plenty of fats left. Feel free to use actual peanut butter. And alongside that, for the caramel nature that you would get from a typical Snickers bar, you're going to want to add a two two capfuls of Tarani caramel sugar free syrup. So it is the same deal as before, except now we're using the caramel flavor. And finally, we're going to finish off with a scoop of chocolate protein, as mentioned before, just to add in some more chocolate taste. Following that, you're simply going to throw on your lid, blend, and enjoy. Okay, recipe number three here is for anybody who's ever had an ice cap and loved it or a frappuccino from Starbucks. This tastes very similar with the added protein twist. So you're going to start off with a cup of brewed coffee, followed by eight to ten ice cubes, depending on your preference and the size of the cubes. Alongside that, you're going to want to add in about a tablespoon of stevia or any sort of sweetener. And with that, you're going to want to add an equal amount, so in this case, a tablespoon of cocoa powder. After that, the interesting part here is mint extract. You can pick this up from any sort of grocery store. This will give you a chocolate mint flavor, which is great. So just a small splash of that, I would guess, is probably about a quarter to a half a teaspoon. 
And finally, to finish it off, you're simply going to want to add a scoop of chocolate flavored protein in some form. After this, the blending will take a small while, but blend it and enjoy. And there's your finished chocolate mint protein um, ice cap frappuccino, that kind of thing. One thing you may have an issue with is a really frothy uh, smoothie, and if you're not into that at all, my recommendation is to blend everything up but the protein, and then add your protein in once your ice and your coffee and all that have mixed up, and blend it just for another few seconds, because the issue with that is you have a lower quality protein and it's causing frothing. So Okay, shake number four here. It's the strawberry mango coconut shake. With this, you're going to want to start off with the same base as always of a cup of milk. Alongside that, you're going to want to add 75 grams or approximately three ounces of mango and strawberry into that. After that, you're going to want to add in about a eight or sorry a quarter teaspoon of coconut extract. This will add some really delicious flavor in there. And after that, you're simply going to want to add in a low flavor but high sweetness protein. So um, this Muscle Farm Combat Cookies and Cream is perfect for that because it doesn't add a lot of flavor, but it just sweetens it up a little bit more. So you're going to want to add a scoop of that just to finish things off. After that, it's as simple as blending it up and serving it. There's your finished product. This is delicious, nutritious, and very fruity. <laughs> and recipe number five here is our final recipe. Uh, it's going to be English toffee banana, so banoffee flavor. So we start off with a half cup of milk as always, followed by a banana broken up into pieces. Make sure this banana is frozen. If not, feel free to use ice cubes. Then to that, you're gonna to wanna to add, uh, my protein makes liquid flavoring drops in a toffee flavor that's absolutely fantastic. So we add that in, it's not necessary, but it's great. And to finish things off, you are gonna want a scoop of protein. And unfortunately, we haven't been able to find the scoop in this massive bag yet. So I'm just gonna use a spoon here to approximate. So a scoop of toffee flavored protein. And you are done with it. Simply blend and serve as always. And there's your finished product, as always, for another delicious smoothie that is quick, easy, and tasty to make. And there you go, five great tasting protein shakes that you can make in under a minute. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Um, if you're interested in me doing a few more videos with my brother here, if you enjoyed that, uh, I'd appreciate you letting me know in the comments. Um, Obviously, this video was planned to be under five minutes, but unfortunately, things got a bit out of hand. Um, as you can tell, we lost our uh, final video, so we're filming in a different location right now. And because of that, that final video was supposed to show the different shakes and all that, but we don't have that, so instead we showed the high action pouring. So, sorry about it being a bit long, but hopefully you still enjoyed. And as I said before, if you want to see any more videos with my younger brother here, that would be great if you could leave a comment about that. So, thanks a lot for watching, and we will see you next week for another video.